Well, hello there. Um, I'm Mama Jane's husband, and this is Mama Jane. And uh, we were recently on NCL Star, and uh, we're going to tell you uh, some of the surprising things we found about being on that ship. So, if that interests you, then watch on. Naurte. That's a bit of Welsh for you. It means now then, we've had mixed experience being on NCL cruise ships. We had a great time on the NCL Jade last year, and we had mm, not such Rubbi a good... Rubbish is the technical phrase he's grappling for. On was... NCL Door. Yes. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. a great It experience. wasn't great. So mm. we weren't really looking forward to our time on NCL Star. No, I'll be honest, I was not dreading it, but thinking, oh, you know. Now, if I can point out, I am not a, a picky traveller. Basically, if somebody's you doing... You put up with me, so... I'm going to with him. And if somebody's doing everything for me, looking after me, taking me around, cooking me dinner, I am a happy person. Mm. So, it, is this the truth? This is the truth, yeah. <laughs> I'm the most uncomplaining person. Yeah. But I really was thinking, mm, mm, this could be a I long know. time. But because yeah. we were going around Ireland... I, uh, and you were desperate to do that, weren't desperate you? Desperate to do that. Yeah. So I was quite looking forward to it, yeah, in, yeah. in that sense. So, um, and uh, we'd had a load of hassle before the cruise before had started. Before we even started. Because they changed the embarkation uh, port from Portsmouth to, to Southampton um, and said that was just a minor change. So we'd got everything booked yeah. in Southampton, uh, in Portsmouth. And, uh, yeah. And At know. our own expense. No oh, compensation. Yeah. No, no, no. We, uh, uh, and, and then they also cancelled the port. Before we even... Now, when you're on a cruise, you never, ever book a cruise because you desperately want to go to X, Y, and Z. Yeah. Don't do it. Because there's things like bad weather, you can't get into yeah. a port, medical emergencies, yeah. you know, things like that. All sorts of things. And that, you accept that. Mm. And it's n not an issue. But this was before we even left. Uh, before, weeks, they cancelled um, Waterford. Which you know, is a quite an important yeah. place in Ireland. Yeah. Uh, it's very famous for its glass making. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. well, we were knocked off before we got on. <laughs> we weren't happy we bunnies. Were happy. <laughs> and to, to cap it all, when we got on board, the app was still showing the old itinerary. Yes. Poor from... So very that was poor. the first thing... That surprised us yeah. was the itinerary changes, the app not being updated. It added insult to injury. It I did. Have to say. It did. But hey ho, we arrived at Southampton, didn't we? We did, and we know Southampton Port, and, yeah. and the parking was fine, and, and everything was fine. Yeah. But then when we got there to the actual building, yeah. there was this huge queue, right? Now, okay, it took us about how long did it take? Oh, a good hour. Hour and a half. Now, I am not, I don't class myself as poor mobility. I, uh, I, I've got a problem with a leg, a knee, but I found it a trial. Yeah. And there was nowhere to sit, even once you're in the building, you know, you're queuing. Thankfully, it was fine weather. But even when we got into the building, there was nowhere to sit. Now, if you're sailing with other um, companies from Southampton, the, the area that you're waiting has got l loads of chairs. It's just rows and rows and this rows of chairs. This had loads of chairs. They just didn't use them. Yeah. And so w we did think, what is going on yeah. here? This is poor. As, um, Not know. what they normally do in Southampton is that they, they get you into the building, allocate you to a group, and then sit you down. Yeah. And then that group is called, and uh, you you they they check you in, take you through security, and you go as a group. Mm. So you don't have to stand in a queue. You sat down in a queue. Mm. So uh, why yeah. uh, why NCL decided to make everybody stand? So it wasn't so much the waiting because I, I don't know what was happening. Why it was so slow? Yeah, it was the standing that was the yeah. issue. So please be warned. If this is normal for NCL, I don't know. But if you cannot stand for more than 20 yeah. minutes or so, then and there was nowhere to go and sit. You, you couldn't even think, oh, I'm just going to sit down there while he waits in queue. Uh, you couldn't. So Because uh, um, Dawn, when we were in South Africa, embarkation was even worse, wasn't it? 
It's complete and utter shambles, yeah. that was. Yeah. Uh, and yet Jade, when we uh, embarked from Athens last year, that was uh, absolutely Easy. slick. slick. So slick. Yeah, so I don't know why. And true. I, I don't know why. We know that Southampton has certainly got facilities for yeah. sitting people down. I don't know about... Uh, so I don't know why that you know, was. I don't know. But it was a surprise. Yes. But we thought, well, we're on board now. Let's yeah. see what's what. As you probably know, if you know us, we travel cheap. We go in the cheapest cabin, uh, wherever, provided it's clean yeah. and got a bed. That's all I want. But and we did notice this one had got. Um, it had, it had been upgraded, and yeah. uh, it did. It wasn't as worn as care worn as no. door. Yeah. Um, so you could see that it it, it had it had Got been some new, a new shelf in and it, that's just the in the cabin, isn't just it? Just the cabin, yeah. yeah. Yeah, in the cabin area, they'd um, improved the the setup quite a bit. Yes. Um, we uh, uh, the the TV was better. Um, there was more storage facilities. Oh, it um, still had the silly. Um... It has got these <laughs> daft drawers that you can only no, get shelves, yeah. shelves in the wardrobe. Right. You open the wardrobe doors, and the wardrobe is there. But then you have to go in, move the clothes, go into the wardrobe, yeah. turn round because the shelves go that way. Yeah, I put inside. a photo in yeah, for you. It's madness, and it's the same on. I know, it's on both of them. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> Who thought that was? When a we idea? were on dawn, we had to have the table moved out because it just got in the way. Now they'd actually put a permanent shelf in, in yeah, place which was of the much table, better. which was much much better. Yeah. The only thing you'd say is that they hadn't matched the two um, woods, <laughs> so you could see where the upgrade had taken place because it was totally different color wood to the other one now if you were doing that in your own house you'd you'd make sure that the woods matched in some sort well, of it way, wouldn't even it? wood the shelf no it was, it was yeah. Yeah. but they, they've done a good job by getting rid of the table yeah. and putting in the shelf yeah. they um and the fridge was an upgrade yeah. they moved the fridge um into a different place yeah. and the fridge was much much better yeah than so generally speaking yeah. cabin was fine um oh and they've taken away the horrid um, lights behind the um, beds. Oh, yeah. Now, Dawn and Star are sister ships um, or brother ships. I don't know. Um, and uh, Ships are always she's. They are, aren't they? Yeah. And um, is, is that because they always need a lot of maintenance? <laughs> Am I in trouble for that? I could be, couldn't I? Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> So, the, the sister ships, um, but for some reason, the layout on Star worked so much better than on Dawn. Mm. Now, there were some differences. On, uh, on Dawn, there's a smoking lounge. Uh, in cigar lounge. Cigar lounge in Gatsby's. Um, and uh, having that space there means Gatsby's doesn't work as well. And also, the smoke did drift out of it and into the bar area. And also on Dawn, the smoke from the um, uh, gambling place, the casino, drifted out into Gatsby's and into the theatre. Now, that wasn't happening on, um, on Star for some reason. Well, it so, wasn't there, was it? Yeah, the casino was there. No, um, oh, the casino was, but the, yeah. the, the cigar lounge in the Gatsby's wasn't there. Yeah. So that sort of, that helped a great deal. But the whole flow of the ship was better um, without the cigar lounge there, because mm. uh, you could walk through this corridor and it made a big difference. Um, and then the atrium, for some reason, also, yes, yeah, it was subtly different. Mm. And it meant that it worked so much mm. better. Mm. We spent a lot of time in the atrium we on did, the ship, yeah. Too, yeah. but we didn't on, on, no, on Dawn. No. So uh, there were subtle differences. And also, there was no ch children's area on Star at the back of the ship. It was actually quite a nice uh, viewing area. Um, and it had gone completely, which meant that it... Uh, it, it just worked, it was a bit, a bit tidier, all a bit better. So it, for me, and for you, I think, mm. it was a more pleasant ship to be on. And you know, it's not a modern ship, it's an no. old, in, in ship years, it's yeah. old. And, and that's absolutely fine. I don't want big and blingy and 
Wizzo necessarily. Um, I just want clean. I do want clean, and it was clean. Yeah. I never saw any yeah. anything that I thought, oh, that looks a bit rough. Um, yeah, there were bits of rust around the place, but then it's a, an old ship. Yeah, I'm, I'm rusty at the edges. <laughs> and you can't keep yeah. forever. There is a limit to how much you can keep painting. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, um, so that was a little bit of a surprise. Um, and then uh, we uh, thought overall the entertainment was quite good, actually. It was it? good. And there was a lot of choice. Yeah. There's something for yeah. everybody. And, for example, one, one group, they like, like a Latin American, he can't stand and I loved it. So, you know, it's, it's all about personal choice. But there was enough yeah. happening for most people, I think, to, yeah. um, as I said, we're not on a big razzmatazzy, glitzy, mm. all singing, literally all mm. singing, all dancing. But if I have gone on a trip that is purely Irish, d Ireland, we, Ireland we're all round the island, um, the island of Ireland, the island of Ireland, you would imagine that it would be quite a big thing on this ship. Mm. And indeed, there were lots of American people, particularly, who were sort of in green and funny hats and you know, it, it was an Irish thing for them. Mm. Sadly, NCL hadn't thought about this. I heard one Irish piece of music, which Haunt was uh, in, in the whole... Now, whether I just wasn't in the right places, I don't know. But uh, the famous tune, The Irish Washerwoman, was being played by the string group, uh, and it brought their house down. Mm. So, you know, people did want this. There was no... No draft Guinness. Um, there was uh, only cans of Guinness, yeah. and only in one. And not not throughout the ship. No, and so I think you've missed the trick here, yeah. NCL. Or perhaps they hadn't. Perhaps they thought the ship's yeah. full. Who cares? I, I think there know. was only one Irish whiskey on board. Yeah. Um, and they had a whiskey bar. Come to that. Yeah. So I'm not quite sure why. Yeah, there was. They paid uh, so little attention. I don't to, think they could be bothered. No, I mean, if you go on a Mediterranean cruise, for example, and you're staying in a different country every yeah. few days, fair enough, you can't. You can't do that. Although some cruise ships theme it, don't they? They do. They have Greek stuff when you're in Greece, yeah. Italian stuff when you're in yeah. Italian. But even you know. so, this was a whole how many nights? Uh, we had uh, 10 nights. 10 nights. Around Ireland. And uh, you could have been going around Timbuktu. Anywhere. Yeah. Anywhere. No theming on ship at all. No, no. So that was a surprise. It was a surprise. And I felt, actually, for me, I felt disappointed for the people who had come in an Irish mood, yeah. as it were. You know, they'd come to trace their ancestors and yeah. things like this. And I thought, oh, yeah. Yeah. So, mm. so there was a lot of mixed, other mixed music on board. Oh, yes. There was this Latin lot. Uh, there was a, a jazz band, string uh, uh, band. I um, can't remember if they were a quartet or a trio. That's why I'm uh, not there saying There was a yet. solo guitarist who yeah. sang as well. He was really good. He really was good. Him. Yeah, we liked him. Um, so that was good. Uh, there weren't a lot of sh show shows. Um, they had some solo singers. They had, I think, a magician, some contortionists. Um, the, the, the entertainment was varied. Very some of it was not our... Our style, but, but that's that us. Nice. That's not to say it was bad. No, but, no, no. But um, boy, do they like their game shows yes. on NCL? Yeah. So much so that actually the cruise director <laughs> is more of a game show host yeah. than a cruise director. Yeah. So the he didn't work as a cruise director for me really. Um, he worked like, as a game show host. Yeah. He was very enthusiastic yeah. and very, you know. Now I, I himself. Hate game shows. Yeah. I if I were on a ship on my own, I would go and see the game shows. Uh, would you? Yeah. I weren't doing something with wow. you, that we both like. Yeah. Because I quite like them. I think they're funny, and I think you just have to enter into the spirit of nonsense and and have a good time. Yeah. But, <laughs> leave. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I quite like a game show. I like a quiz. But um, yeah. Mm. Mm. So. Um, yeah, so entertainment was all right. Nothing surprising. It was competent, varied. Very competent. And uh, that was all right. Um, and then the one of the things we did like about NCL Dawn was the wine bar. Do, yeah. And uh, we're looking forward to it. <laughs> Only to discover they'd replace it by a whiskey bar. Now. But, but <laughs> we like the whiskey bar as well. 
and do you know you probably do know i'm just very old that you now can get um cocktails on tap they're on draft they're yeah. not yeah yeah and uh so... no draft beer on board no, no draft, beer. But draft cocktails draft cocktails yeah um so no draft guinness <laughs> So we did discover those, and they were nice. Um, and you had this peanut whiskey, didn't you? Monkey business, it was called. This yeah. actual uh, with um, thing that they made with um, peanut butter. Yeah, peanut butter. I know. Yeah, it was it were nice though. Were delicious. That's what shocked me. Now, so that we was had, a surprise. <laughs> we had this lovely whiskey bar, and you think, oh, yeah. this is lovely, and it's yeah. lovely ambiance, and it was nice, and then suddenly. It's turned into karaoke. I mean, literally karaoke. Oh. It was the karaoke area. Now, I love a karaoke. I you know, don't. <laughs> I, I'll go and enjoy a laugh and might even have a bash myself, but not in a very nice, charming whiskey bar. <laughs> I do that, not know. Having said that, they also used it as a, almost a sports. There was a big sports screen yeah. up as well. Yeah. So, you know, it was a bit like, why are you doing this? It, I know why they're doing it because they've got space to put things anywhere else, but so don't do it. No, no, don't do it. I, I think they could have used the Bliss Lounge or anywhere the atrium for it. Yeah. Why use the whiskey bar? <laughs> it was awful. Yeah. It really was. Which was a shame because a low early point. on, early on when it was just a whiskey bar, it, it, was, lovely. it was lovely. Absolutely yeah. lovely. So that was a bit of a downer, really. <laughs> um, that was disappointing. Um. And then food. Now, what did we think about food, Mama Jean? Well, food, as you know, if somebody's cooked it and thought about it, it's already 95% good for me. It is. So, and anything above that is a bonus. And most of this was a bonus if you were in the buffet, because it was a nice buffet. Now, I like a buffet. And if you go in a posh restaurant, you may have been, where it says taster menu and they charge mm. you many, many pounds for a 10 course meal of little bits of things. Now I look on a buffet like that in that I can try all little bits that I wouldn't normally have. So I don't look at it as kind of, mm, it's a buffet. No. I look at it, no, it's a taster menu this and I'd gladly pay lots of money. Now one, one of the things about this cruise is because we were laid back quite a bit on some of the excursions, and also we want to do some of the sailaways. Um, it weren't easy to get into the restaurants um, so that we could go to the restaurants. We'd been eating, main dining room. Main dining room. We'd have been eating really, really late and we don't like eating late. So we used the buffet a lot on this cruise ship and it were really good. Yeah. Um, and, and breakfast, breakfast was really fab. I Hot thought. and cold baked beans. Yeah. Which seems to be Pan it's, 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 it's like pandemic on cruise ships. Perhaps we should try oh, breakfast in main dining room and see if they're hot there. Like that. But uh, the omelette was really good, a fantastic omelette station. And um, uh, they, they, had a lot, they had four different omelette stations, uh, which is great. Are you watching PO? Um, <laughs> and uh, in fact, uh, there was this Brazilian chef. Um, who was made the most fabulous omelets. And once I found out uh, where he was, I used to search him out every morning and use his station for the omelets because he was really good. Um, so, and and then the actual, the the pool um, buffet. Yeah, you know, like they have, uh, it's usually just burgers, hot dogs, salads. Pizza. Pizza. And this had other things as well. I know some ships do have other yeah. things as well, and this was one of them. Uh, and it was nice enough, absolutely yeah. nice enough. It was good. It yeah, was. It was I, good. I thought it was above average, actually, yeah. For, yeah. for that. So uh, that worked well. The main dining room itself. It was weird. Strange place. Whether it was just the weeks we were there, the, yeah. I, I don't know, but it didn't feel right somehow, no. did it? The, 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 the deco was odd. I thought that the, the, it, oh, was well. a, it was... It was um, blingy and I, think I just didn't I didn't find it gave a good ambience and then the staff well it was disaster they were a it disaster. Was disaster and 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 we don't mean that unkindly at the staff because it seemed that they weren't trained up properly no um no. you know it, and they had this lady who was marching around yeah and like she didn't have a whip but um she, you, you know, she was cracking whip. 
Yeah. Uh, seriously cracking whip. And they were terrified of her. Yeah. It's never good that when the staff are terrified yeah. in somebody in management. And they were always looking at behind their backs. Yeah. And when her back was turning, they were, they were obvious snarky mm. um, uh, things being said because now often I couldn't understand what they were saying it because they were saying it in a language you didn't understand. But you could tell from their faces yeah, that, that they, they, weren't. they weren't. It weren't a nice comment. Yeah. Um, and, and so all that should not have been done publicly. No. You know, if she's going to tell her staff off, take them away and, yeah. and tell them off. Yeah. But so it was a bit odd. As I said, we we didn't go in very often, did we? And in fact, we gave up. And once we went in, we only went in twice. Yeah. We went in Aqua. And uh, that was all right. That was okay. That was okay. And then we went in the the one we, one of the ones we went in the big one. I can't remember the name now. I'll insert it. Uh, but actually, we left. Yeah. Um, because when the the main course eventually arrived, after about an hour or so, uh, longer than an hour, wasn't it? Mine was inedible. Couldn't eat it. How so can obviously, you make but chicken it, tough. Yeah. How do you so make it chicken obviously breast been tough? Sat somewhere. Yeah. Waiting to come out and. Um, so we went and ate in the buffet, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Which, and it was lovely. <laughs> yeah, lovely. But um, yeah, yeah. But we then went to the speciality restaurants. It's, yeah, we went to um, a Brazilian style chicousery, chicousery, no, chicousery. No, I can't remember what it's called, but Moderna anyway. Moderna, it's the Moderna, it and it was absolutely well. No, if you're a meat eater. It I'm was, not a meat eater. No, you're not. But no, I really no. enjoyed yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, so, so you start off with like um, uh, a buffet starter. You yeah. go and choose what you want. And that's lovely. Now, whatever you want. It's really extensive. Yeah. Then they, really, really extensive. Then they bring um, some little dishes, about five is the yeah. dishes of various things. Uh, put them on your table. And then they give you a red card and a green card. Yeah. And when you are ready to start... You turn the card to green, yeah. and the, along comes the chap. It is a chap, usually, yeah. I don't know why, but there you are. It uh, comes along, and he's got this long, um, like skewer thing yeah. with meat on it. And there's various kinds of meat beef, pork, chicken, sausage. Mm -hmm. And he, you'll see, you've done mm -hmm. photographs of him. Mm -hmm. He carves yeah. some meat off, mm -hmm. and you eat this. And then when you want him to stop coming back, because it, it's very much um, eat at your speed. Mm -hmm. Very much, yeah. and you can start again. And so, it was a, an experience. Shall I say it was an experience? It was. Yeah, it was lovely. Yeah, it was well yeah. worth it. I uh, will go again. Yeah, please, please. <laughs> yeah. Um. So that was good. That was a nice surprise. And then some other things that were uh, some surprising service waiter service. Um. They were trying their best, but there weren't enough for them. So, um, in general, waiter service was, was poor and slow. Like we did in Gatsby's one night decide not to go to the bar to get served. Just wait to see how long it would take for somebody to come and ask us what we wanted to drink. And it took 20 minutes. And then it would take quite a while then for them to get the drinks. Because everybody was going to the bar because the waiters were taking so long. So like a vicious so circle. So it was a really. totally vicious circle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then outside, um, it was hard to get the attention of a waiter when you're by the pool deck. Once you got one, they were great. Mm. But getting hold of them were not always quick, particularly when it was busy. Right, it was quicker to go to the bar when it was busy. So that was surprising that the service wasn't that quick and difficult to get mm. the waiters. Mm. They're lovely when you got them. Oh, lovely. Yeah. But there weren't enough of them. Mm. And then the other thing that really surprised me was uh, the lack of draft beer on board. And they would only give you, um, they, they, they had cans and bottles and they wouldn't serve you a bottle uh, because it was a hazard. Now, on dawn, it was all right. We, we had, in fact, and they wouldn't serve you in the jacuzzi either. No, I can understand that, and they shouldn't serve you in the I can understand it, but when we were but on did. dawn, <laughs> yeah, they, did. they served us yeah. with bottles of beer in, in the jacuzzi. I can remember my brother and me sat there with a bottle of Corona uh, in the jacuzzi. Yeah. Now, I do think that's wrong, and it but shouldn't I, happen. But 
It did happen. It did and... happen, yeah. And but on this ship, you couldn't have any bottles. No, on uh, the they... pool deck. No, um, and uh, then the cans would would come out. So, what is that? Right, killjoy that was for me. <laughs> yeah, I think you could have that had was a, a killjoy. Yeah, just yeah. don't take it in the you know, jacuzzi. The, the, and, uh, and, yeah, yeah, and tell people if they're taking it, yeah. you can't do that. You know. Yeah. So, so that was all a bit of a um, disappointment. And then another gripe was the cafe, like the cafe in the atrium. Um, the it had Starbucks coffee. It didn't taste like Starbucks to me. Um, and uh, two dollars a macaroni. Not a macaroni. Not a macaroni. A macaron. <laughs> <laughs> you know the little. little sweet, two dollars. Two dollars for, for one. one. Now I know they're not cheap, but I thought two dollars for a, what? Well, two bites at the most. Yeah. One if it's him. Yeah. And I thought it's Scooby oh, snacks, aren't they? I thought, come on, that that's just yeah. So mm, I have to say I never saw anybody buy one. I don't know whether they No, did. I didn't see anybody <laughs> buy one either. Um and then um again gripe about the pool area. Um there was never any live music. Yeah. You know, when you're on a cruise ship and you're on a sea day, particularly an unplanned sea day, because we did have an unplanned sea yes, day. Yes, They pull out all the stops, and they usually have bands more frequently than yeah. normal up on the pool deck. No bands. Just recorded music. And the odd bingo. So it was poor show, that. Mm. Very poor show. Very mm. surprising. Um, again, on dawn, we had every sea day, we had bands, several bands, up on the pool deck. Mm. And they were great. It added to the atmosphere. So that was um, a surprise and was disappointing. And then I think for me, the last surprise was the slow tendering. Gosh, you make it hard, <laughs> uh, NCL, to tender. Why do you make it so hard? Like w other cruise ships we've been on, tendering just is is easy yeah. and yet it's a huge song and dance show on on yeah. NCL. And why don't you put more of your lifeboats in the in the sea to do it? Or get help from the port. Yeah. You know, only one of the ports that we were had tenders, they had shoreside help. Now I suspect it's because you don't want to pay for it. Mm -hmm. So the tendering process took forever mm -hmm. and ever and ever. So that was a really disappointing part of the cruise. Mm. So, in fact, one um, port Galway, I think. Was it Galway? Mm. Yes, Galway. Galway. We were going to miss our trip, yeah. and so you our were, excursion. Yeah, you had because it wasn't an a NCL excursion. Now, luckily for us, everybody who was going on this excursion was off the NCL ship. So they were very good, and they waited, didn't they? they and did. we just kept in contact by phone. Yeah. Um, and so that wasn't yeah. a, a great issue, but it could have been, you know, and, um, yeah. yeah. So anyway, so that's it. Um, I don't think there's any of the surprises. Have we mentioned all the surprises? We mentioned all yeah. the surprises. So we, um, we, we were better, we were more impressed with the star than the dawn. Um, uh, oh, definitely. Not as good as Jade, but, uh, much, much better oh, than dawn. Oh, much better. Yeah. Um, but we still had some surprises. Um, but for now... And remember, these are only our thoughts. Yeah. And you may, what we don't like, you may think, I like that. Yeah, you might like yeah. game shows for some strange like reason. <laughs> anyway, for now, it's a goodbye from... <laughs> Me. And it's a goodbye from... Him. So goodbye. <laughs>